Hey everybody. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this object over here. Uh, this is shown in the part practice one. So before you begin working on a part like this, uh, the helpful thing to do is to identify the overall height, width, and depth. And you're actually not going to know the volume until the very end, unless you wanted to calculate it beforehand, but that's not necessary. So in this case, we want to identify the most efficient number of sketches which that means, how can I make this part with the fewest number of sketches possible? Um, if we're looking at the additive versus the subtractive method, I actually am not going to use either. The approach that I'm gonna take here is I'm going to go ahead and trace out this front face, and then I'm going to add an extrusion to add thickness. So let's go ahead and get started to see what that looks like. Um, when I'm in Inventor, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my Start 2D Sketch, and I'm gonna make a new 2D sketch on my XY plane. Now from here, I'm going to use my line tool to draw out that profile. So I'm going to start at my origin. Notice that if I put my cursor over it, it turns green. And I'm gonna go ahead and map out what the shape looks like. Now keep in mind, I'm not adding any dimensions at this point. I just want to get a rough of idea of where the lines are and how they work together. I'm going to right click and say OK to finish that shape. Now what I can do next is add dimensions. Up here is where I have my dimension button. And my bottom dimension here I see is 6 inches. So I'll type in 6. So that makes a really big change because I made my part way too small to start, but that's okay. Go back to dimension and my height is three inches. And now I'm ready to start looking at some of these individual steps. Um, since this step and this step is two, it's assumed that this final step is also two inches wide. And I don't need to go in there and dimension it again as it would just be repetitive. So I'll change this to two. I'll also change this to two. And lastly, we want to bring that down a bit. And we'll add this final dimension. And it's saying that it's over constraining the sketch, which means that it's already assumed that that's two inches since I have six inches set as my overall width. So we can just say cancel. Now I'm going to start adding in the height here, which I can see each one of these heights that are indicated are one inch. So I'll go to dimension, type in one inch, one inch, and then this will also be one inch. This is going to give me the warning to make the driven direct dimension again, since I already have the overall height set as three. So I can say cancel. So as you can see here down in the bottom of my screen, that my part is fully constrained, which means that I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is adding in my extrusion. So I'm going to either right click and go to finish 2D sketch or click the finish sketch green check mark in the top. I'm using my middle mouse button wheel to scroll out. And now I'm ready to go to my extrude feature. I'm gonna select the profile that's going to be extruded. And I can see that my depth here is three inches, which I can type in there and say, okay. And that's my finished part. So the last thing that we can do is we can go ahead and look at the volume of this part. So to inspect the volume, I can go to File, I can go to Eye Properties, I can go over here to Physical and say Update. And we'll see that my volume is recorded here and it's 36 cubic inches. Um, a couple of other helpful things are indicating the area and the mass, um, if that's part of your uh, research or analysis that you're doing. Another way to access the Eye Properties panel is if you were to right click on part one in the browser, you can also go over to Eye Properties this way. And it brings you the same dialog box and the same tabs to record your volume. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.